Hi friends, good afternoon. In this video, I would like to explain host to host payment channel. Before going to this agenda, I will share few things about host to host payment. What is host to host payment? In case corporate can able to transfer 1 lakh or 2 lakh employee salary for every month and they cannot able to transact each and every employee salary in single one by one. So that reason they do the bulk transaction. On that purpose they are using host to host payment channel. This is for the simple example. What agenda we will discuss for this video. Overview of host to host payment. Advantage of host to host payment. File transfer and validation. Host to host STP architecture, straight through process architecture, SFTP functionality, how the digital signature, encryption and decryption, bank and activity, automated solution, advantage of host to host automation. These are all the agenda. I will provide this PPT step by step. What is host to host payment system? Already I said that you corporate client can able to do that bulk transaction via host to host payment channel. They are own format. In case the corporate client, they can able to trans transfer the bulk transaction, their own file format, IDOC, XML, CSV, this kind of file format, they can able to do the transaction. The huge volume of transaction process to this host to host channel and connect with this core banking system. In this host to host connectivity solution, corporate client can able to prefer their own file format, network protocol and security standard. This host to host payment channel, we can able to do that large volume, large volume of payments. Corporate, they are using their own ERP system, SAP, Microsoft, CRM, Dynamic, Oracle, Cloud, Open Source ERP, any ERP they are using, they put their file in ERP system, they do that transaction. Reconciliation and payment should be done automatically. Corporate can able to do that transaction their own file format, IDOC, XML, CSV. They do their own file format and in this file, they can do the digital signature and encryption mechanism. Corporate client can able to do the partial payment, full payment. These are the features available in host to host channel. This, this host to host payment should be affected for this manual work. All the things is go to automated. So that reason the human error also very less. You can able to transfer very large value of transaction instantly. Every month and weekly or daily, you can able to do that all the large volume of transaction instantly. This purpose of reducing the operation cost and human activities. Mostly the corporate one, why prefer? They're reducing the operation cost and human activity. Focus on growing their business in multiple ways. WPS, core payment, FTS, lot of host to host payment available in this market. Next slide. I would like to explain for straight through process for host to host engine. In this straight through process, without any manual intervention, all the files should be processed from start to end without any manual intervention. The bank should not be involved for this SFTP flow. First of all, corporate customer they put their own file from their ERP system with digital signature and do that encryption in private key, their own private key. Once they put the file in their own format, XML or CSV, what format they what format they are preferred and they are agree with the bank, they put that file format and the specific file is encrypted and put the digital signature. After what they did, the host to host client tool pulled that file from corporate client ERP system to Corporate client ERP system after host to host client tool push the file to bank SFTP folder. The host to host client tool is optional tool. Some of the banks they pull the they give the access to directly to the client ERP system. Some of the banks they prefer for the host to host client tool and connect the client ERP system to bank SFTP folder. The connecting purpose only they are using for host to host client tool. Once a file is pushed from this for client uh, corporate ERP system to bank SFTP folder. After SFTP folder, do the validation of this file. First level of validation, it should be happened for this file level validation, whether the correct format or not. What kind of format corporate agreed, whether it's XML format or yeah, CSV format, they put the correct format file or not. In case they are put any incorrect file format, they send the NAC response to the 
their ERP system via host to host client tool. That format is correct means they generate the ACK response. The correct format of the file is correct format. They send the ACK, ACK response to host to host client tool via corporate client ERP system. Once they do that file files level validation, after they do that structure level validation, the corporate client provide this correct account number or not. Uh, and IBAN, IBAN number is correct number or not, employee ID is a correct number or not, employee details is correct number or not. Those details check, check happen, okay. The structure level validation is happen. How the structure level validation is happen? On the structure level validation, we are used for host to host engine. In this host to host engine only, corporate client do that onboarding. They are, uh, they are, they are accessing the host to host feature and they do their own mapping own mapping because this these are all the flight um, these are all the feed we will accept for this specific um, salary process take down the example client only do that mapping the employee id is a mandatory the employee name is a mandatory employee iban number is a mandatory corporate salary account is a mandatory and the employee house housing allowance any pf and uh, after ad any additional mention these are all this non mandatory they do that mapping from this host to host engine these are all the field is map mandatory field for this file these are all the field is non mandatory field for field for this file they do all the mapping from host to host engine when the host to host engine mapping and the rule engine setup the when the corporate client is configured for the host to host feature in their account their real account or virtual account all these things happen for this host to host engine this host to host engine when the all the information available in host to host engine after we bank executive to folder do that structure level validation whether corporate client provide the correct information or not, the account number is correct, IBAN number is correct, employee ID is correct, and uh, what are the details they providing inside the file, that all the details should be correct means they generate the ACK response to the client. In case any of the information is missed out, on the time what they do that, they generate the NAC response to the client, this information is missed out in this file, please correct it. That kind of information process to the bank SFT folder to um, via host to host client tool to ERP system. Okay, once the mapping and everything is done. After what they do that corporate client prepare the two kind of payment. One is a partial file payment, another one is a fully accepted file payment. If the partial file payment means any of the information is wrong in this bulk file. Only the wrong information is rejected. Remaining what are the information is correct that should be processed for this transaction. In case they are agree for this fully filed process on the time what will that happen they push that file okay any small kind of information is missed out in this file entire file should be rejected and send the NAC response to the client this is for the partial file accepted and full file accepted when everything is over all the details should be fine okay next we check that limit okay that specific transaction is a customer limit or not how much limit the customer can able to do the transaction 1 million or 2 million or 3 million that set up from this bank side okay the, within the limit means it's go to that stp straight through process after the transaction push to the specific core code banking system SIFT, fts core payment wcs code banking okay what is what kind of future um, future file is pushed to this um, host to host engine specific uh, system connected suppose the corporate client put this wage file means it's go to the wps suppose core payment file means it's go to the court payment any foreign transaction or FTS file means it's go to the FTS system. Same like that, okay. After it's go to the their their own system and do all the debit and credit activities, again it's connected to the core banking system. This is for the STP flow. In this STP flow, they never ever involved any kind of manual intervention. All this process should be processing automatically. Next, we will look on this each and every component feature. What are the features available from this component feature? Already I said that bank SFTP folder. In this bank SFTP folder only, all these structure level, file structure level and the name and slash level and file format level validation is happen. Okay. Already I said that corporate client put the file in their ERP system and they use their encryption mechanism and digital signature. Everything should be processed, come to the bank SFTP folder. Bank SFTP folder validate for this digital signature, whether it's a correct corporate client digital signature or not. After they they decrypt the file. Next, decrypt the file. Bank used for their own public key. Corporate client they use different different private key, but bank used their own public key and decrypt the file. After the host to host engine validate all these things happen. Once every validation is success, it's routed to the specific 
payment system after it's go to the core banking system okay this is for this bank sft folder already it said that file level validation what are the file level validation is happen file level validation we do that file file format level validation whether it's a correct format or not after one structure level validation inside the file they are providing correct information or not after every information is correct it should be generate the ag suppose any of the information is failed it should be generated for the nag once you put the file you can able to maintain this similar kind of format the bank name should be come suppose you put the input file from any of the which which payment file or any fps file it's come to the bank name suppose your bank is abc means abc 001 wps again some name it's come dot csv xml or what kind of format they are accepted that format file should be come the file name should be maintained as a unique same file name cannot be able to use for another file every file should be unique name that condition maintained from this host to host engine suppose in this um, in this uh, few years before the host to host engine accept for only for this limited value of file 5 mb or 10 mb file only but as of now the host to host client tool itself the file splitting is happen how many what large volume file you put from from corporate erp system it should be sliced and based it should be sliced some condition and push to that host to host engine these features are available in right now current market next what is the activity coming from this bank and already i said that client put that file after they do that encryption of the file they used their public key after they generate from this app or nac response reconciliation also happened from this banking side file splitting also happened sponsor bank send the input file and it's go to that destination bank for in invert file after they validate the file and send the request and response to that specific corporate these are all the bank end activities happen all the bank back end activities connected to this host to host engine based on this host to host condition only the validation should be happen what is the automation process for the host to host host to host payment end to end automation auto split you you put any large value of file it should be split from this slice by slice what is the suppose you can split 100 mb file file it should be split from 20 mb 20 mb based on this host to host engine configuration auto sign and unsign it's already said that digital signature encryption decryption you can able to do that n number of file transaction from day by day it should be used for corporate clients file should in before the file should, should file size should be free defined but as of the current future you no need to free defined for the file size you can able to tra transfer the huge volume of files and transaction should be happen for this within a day next other functionality what are the functionalities other functionality involved for this host to host host to host channel it's to that all the technical validations inside the file technical validation and as well as the functional level validation convert the file to xml format because as of now already all are aware of the current market we are considered for the only for mx format so conversion of mt to mx these kind of functionality is also available in host to host channel what are corporate client can able to given their own format of file the bank should be accepted that is very convenient for the corporate client corporate client able to get this immediate response validation and ac or nac response immediately to that their specific transaction you can able to do that n number of posting from this post to post client tool reconciliation and the mis report also generated it integrated with this ma mandate management system and it's handled for all the core file format you can able to do that um, credit debit and all the information you can able to get that these are all the other functionalities also available in uh, host to host client tool and host to host engine advantage of host to host payment you can able to do that end to end automation process without any manual intervention in for stp process it's never happen for any manual intervention manual intervention is very less and human error also very less in host to host process handling of huge volume of data and huge volume of files reduce the human intervention increasing the operational costs and transparency of the bank is so much high you can able to see that each and every transaction status within a hour within, within a hour the file should file also process batch wise so it's very transparency customer can able to meet that bank requirement and it's the host to host 
future is used for this benefit registration fts wps payment and and many kind of bulk payments systems thanks for watching this video please kindly subscribe my channel i will try to provide three video for coast to coast channel this is my first video for stp next video is non stp another one video i will provide for this how the wage payment system uh, wage payment happened to this host to host client tool thank you so much